Hi guys and welcome to CrossFit Lessons YouTube channel. My name is Andy Osborne and I'm here to tell you about the workout of the day. It is Tuesday the 12th of January 2021. So today we have a focus on your back to start off with for your strength elements. Um, obviously a lot of you are working out at home so you may not have pull-up bars or heavy weights. So we're going to do a giant set, three exercises done back to back for four rounds, taking a short break after each round. And then we're gonna move on to the Metcon. So let me just explain to you the strength element first of all. We're gonna be doing three exercises, swimming, towel pull, and a single arm row. Let me demonstrate. So your swimming action. You're gonna be lying down on the floor, <clears throat> extend those arms out of the front, hands slightly wider than the shoulders, make a fist with the hands, slide the shoulders down the back, have the feet hip distance apart. You're gonna lift up the head, chest and opposite arm to the leg so you're lifting up and straight back down breathing in and out aim to squeeze the glutes as you lift the leg lift the head and chest aim to keep your arm level with your ear So you're going to go for tw uh, 20 repetitions of the swimming movement, that's 10 each side, alternating sides. Then you're going to go on to the towel pull. Now grab yourself a towel, I'm just using a t-shirt today, but basically you just need something that you can grab a hold of and pull to create tension. So you're going to lie down again on your tummy, this time your legs are going to be together, I'm squeezing and lengthening through the legs, I'm squeezing the glutes and I'm drawing it through my abdominals. Extend the arms up. Hands should be just slightly wider than the shoulders. Pack the shoulders down from the ears. Lift up the head and the chest and pull. Head and chest comes down. So it's important when you're doing this exercise to pull the towel apart, pack and lock your shoulders down from the ears, and think about your shoulder base sliding down the back as you're pulling, leading with the elbows. So again, we're looking for 20 repetitions. So as you lift up, you're gonna pivot in the mid back rather than the lower back. Try and keep those abdominals switched on, glutes nice and tight, lengthen through those legs. So for your single arm row, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. There's a couple of ways in which you can do a single arm row. I'm just gonna demonstrate two versions for you. If you're using a kettlebell, you can have that kettlebell in between the legs to start with. Hinge here from the hip. So I'm hinging from the hip, trying to get my torso parallel to the floor. Maintain the curve here in the base of the spine. And then from here, you can pull. Leading with the elbow, lock that shoulder down, Alternatively, you can bring your legs together. Again, pushing the hips back, holding this position. Or you can even stagger your stance. So, two different options there for you. If you're using a dumbbell, you, may, you won't go all the way to the floor. Kettlebell, you may be able to touch the floor in between each rep. Try and keep that torso locked in place. As you pull, there should be no rotation here. I don't want any movement there. I want the lats doing all the work. Lock the shoulder down. Isolate as you pull. Stabilize to your center. Okay guys, so you have 20 on the swimming, 20 on the towel pull, and then 20 single arm row, that's 10 each side. If that's not challenging enough for you, then just up the volume on a single arm row. You may need to do 12, 15, or even 20 reps each side. Okay guys? So guys, for your Metcon today, we have two exercises. This is a coupling. We have devil's press. This is a single arm devil's press five on one side, then five on the other side. That's gonna be straight into some sit-ups, butterfly legs, feet sole to sole. Let me quickly demonstrate what we're looking for. One hand, chest to the floor, drive up, lift up through that chest, slight swing, straight up, 
Bring it straight down. Stay on the same side. For five reps. Once you've done five, change sides. Five reps on the other side. Okay, guys? Once you've done that, you're gonna go straight into your sit-ups. If you have an ab mat, by all means use an ab mat. If not, just place your feet sole to sole. Starting off, I want your hands to touch the floor. Head hasn't got to touch, but the shoulders have to touch. From here, swing through, touch the toes, roll down. Using the legs, or rather the arms, full momentum. Twenty repetitions, straight back to the devil's press, and this is a sixteen-minute am wrap. As many rounds and reps as you can in sixteen minutes. Good luck, guys.